David Kirkland's company was spending hours removing dried mortar from mortar mixers like this one using a needle scaler. A needle scaler is a very powerful tool, but even with this tool it took hours to remove this dried mortar. This stuff isn't like concrete, which is brittle and will flake away easily when it's thin. This stuff was rock solid. I had to hit it hard with a hammer just to fracture it, and some of the buildup was very thick. So far I haven't seen anything the dustless blaster can't remove, but even I didn't expect it to do much against this rock hard mortar. After showing David how to use the machine, he's ready to see what it can do. He starts on the outside of the mixer, removing the paint. As expected, the paint comes off very quickly. Right now, he's blasting at 135 PSI and 210 CFM with recycled bottle glass. There was a little bit of recycled bottle glass in the machine when we started, so the plan was to blast with that until it was gone, and then switch to garnet. We thought the mortar would need something a little harder than glass, but as it turns out, the glass did pretty well. Yeah. Or do you like well, the glass? You, you know, I watched that. Hit that edge right there, and that apple came off pretty darn good. All right, so you want to try with a little bit of glass? glass. Yeah. Yeah. After adding more glass, it's time to try blasting the actual mortar buildup on the grate. As you can see, the mortar disappears along with the orange paint. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem to be that much more difficult than removing paint alone even though my hammer and an industrial needle scaler have trouble with it. With the dustless blaster, you can use just about any abrasive that sinks in water, so you have the flexibility to blast almost any type of job. Is it what you've envisioned? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Next, we try garnet in the machine instead of recycled glass, and the results are even better. Garnet is a harder, more aggressive abrasive than glass, and cuts through the mortar effortlessly. Even an industrial needle scaler takes several hours to renew this mixer, but in seven minutes with the dustless blaster, David's got it about halfway finished. Whether it's mortar, concrete, or anything else you can think of, 
the dustless blaster can get it done faster.